to have you and I hope you guys do stick around and if you guys are one of my usual viewers thank you so much for yet again choosing to watch one of my videos it is currently Sunday here at the moment and I am feeling a lot better I have been really poorly this week with I think was the flu I have just been so wiped out so poorly but I'm feeling a load better today and thank you as well for everyone that did send me well wishes on the comments down below thank you i have just got out of the bath hence why i'm in my pjs i hope you guys do not mind i hope you don't think that this is really rude that i'm doing a video in my pajamas but i've just had a lovely hot bath i've washed my hair and i thought you know what it's sunday afternoon i'm gonna put my pjs on and just relax for the rest of the day i never feel like it's a sunday i don't know if it's just me and i'm a bit of a weirdo but i never feel like it's a sunday unless you've had that bath Put some pajamas on and you've got a roast cooking you've got that smell of a roast around the house i just never get that sunday feeling unless i do it having said that though we're not actually having a roast today i have made um the boys a homemade cottage pie from scratch so that's all done i'm just gonna put it in the oven actually i actually need to put that in the oven in the next 10 minutes or so so yeah that's what they've got for um dinner jessica's not here so simon's just dropped her off to a party so she's gonna go to the party and then i think they're gonna have mcdonald's before we have to go back and pick her up so i thought you know what i wasn't planning on doing a video hence the pjs guys so I do apologize but i thought you know what use this moment why the house is a bit empty and it's lovely and quiet it's only me and jake here i'm going to get this video done and show you guys what i got from home bargains i don't have a lot mind it is a very kind of small mini haul but you guys know i do love to come on and show you no matter if i buy five things or 50 things i will always come on and show you guys what I have bought so yeah the kids are on half term as well as so it's half term next week which I am really looking forward to I cannot tell you I have been up every day this weekend really early like six quarter past six yesterday half past six today and today I just I could not sleep so I had to get out of bed I got about half past six and I started to just lightly dust around the living room and it was still like quite dark out but I just couldn't sleep I just couldn't even go back to sleep and I didn't really sleep through the night either it's just been one of them weekends. Mind you, it doesn't help when your husband snores. I mean, that's, you know, that's another issue I won't even go into. Sometimes I honestly feel like just, you know, popping a pillow over his head. <laughs> but yeah, oh, hopefully I won't get in too much trouble for saying that on here. But we all know it's a joke. It's a joke, guys. Honestly, I'm not planning on murdering my husband. I promise, honestly. But yeah, the snoring thing is just... Oh, anyone will know if you've got a partner that snores the sleep deprivation that you get from it is just unbelievable and then they wake up in the morning they're like morning and you're like you just don't even want to speak and they're just like oh why are you in a grumpy mood and i'm like i don't know but i i might be a little bit tired oh did you not sleep much last night no simon i didn't <laughs> so yeah it's a bit of a pain in the backside but um what can you do guys what can you do so yeah kids are on half turn um, and I'm just looking forward to not having that hectic rushing around in the morning with the packed lunches, the school uniform, shout out the kids to get ready, shout out them to get in the car, all the traffic on the way there. And just, yeah, I'm looking forward to just having a nice, easy morning every morning. I mean, I'm not going to lie in or anything like that. That's just, that's just something I don't really do anyway. It's very rare I sleep in past eight o'clock. I haven't slept in, gosh, for years and years and years, but... I just like to get up, you know, have a nice cup of tea, take my time, watch a bit of this morning, just, yeah, not have to worry about the alarm or anything to do with the school. So, yes, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, what else have I got planned this week? I have got a neurology appointment as well this week. So I'm really kind of hoping I get some more answers from that. I will keep you guys updated as well once I have been to my neurology appointment. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, I have quite a lot of physical um, health problems, but I will kind of do an updated video on that maybe one day in the next couple of weeks just to kind of keep you guys up to speed on everything that's kind of been happening with me and Simon for the last two years, because there has been quite a lot happening, guys, and I feel like you guys have only just come on, so you're just kind of hearing little jibs and drabs of things, so I'll 100% get a video done and just, you know, make everyone up to speed on health problems and house problems and why we've you know moved house twice in the last 10 months guys but 
yeah, I will explain that all in a later video for you guys. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you what I've got from Home Bargains. So I'm going to show you guys this first because I think this is such a bargain. It is a movie night snack set and I just thought it was so cute. Priced at 2 99 which I thought was so cheap. You get two cups in there with lids and straws and then you also get the little plastic pot to put your popcorn in. And I just thought it was so lovely and it would make such a lovely gift as well or a birthday present for somebody. Really, really nice. We have a lot of movie nights in this house. We have loads and I go to a real big effort. Like a lot of the times I will completely fully decorate the table. I'll put things on the ceiling. I go a little bit over the top sometimes. So I'm planning on doing two movie nights this week, guys. I'm gonna do two separate ones, which you guys might find a little bit bizarre. So I'm gonna do one for me and Jake, and then one for me and Jessica on a separate day as well. Purely because of the age difference. So obviously Jake is coming up to 16, Jessica is 11. They both have kind of very different taste on film. She's very much still into, you know, Disney, and you know, Jake's just not into that. He's into like, you know, Marvel and, you know, Fast and Furious, adult kind of films, really. So it's kind of hard to find one for all of us to kind of watch. So I thought I would do two separate ones. Plus, I think it's nice as well, because then that child gets your kind of individual attention instead of quite trying to fight for your attention all of the time. So I'm planning on doing um, me and Jessica one. I'm not sure what we're going to watch yet. We're either going to watch Mean Girls or Hot Chick. I'm not 100%. So I thought I would get this for us to, to have. We could put our drinks in it and then have our little snacks in there. But don't you think that was really good? 2 99 that's kind of like a pound for each item, which is just really, really good. And this isn't just for Valentine's Day. Don't be kind of put off when you look at this and you think, oh no, it's just for Valentine's Day because it's got hearts on it. It doesn't matter, you can literally use this, like I've said, for you and your child, anytime you want a movie night, like, it's great to have this kind of in your cupboard or in your drawers, really. We don't celebrate Valentine's Day. I do have to just kind of add that. It's not something that me and Simon have really ever celebrated i mean when we first got together he would buy me a card and flowers and then after about a couple of years i just said to him look let's just knock valentine's day on the head i've never really been one for valentine's day i just find it a little bit kind of cringy and i know that's just me that's just a personal preference i don't want to make you know anybody feel bad that does celebrate valentine's day because i know it means a lot to a lot of people but for me it's just i just see it as a total waste of money and i just think you know I don't really see the point so yeah we don't really celebrate valentine's day but on valentine's day i am going to have like a, a galentine's day for me and jessica so we're going to have a little girly film night so i'm going to kind of get lots of pink and red sweets for us to have and enjoy i also got a bag of sweet popcorn as well for the movie night only a pound in home bargains which is really really cheap so that's going to go in this box as well and i'm probably going to keep the other half for mine and jake's movie night as well i have got some glow sticks and i just don't know where i've put them and i've definitely got them from home bargains but i'm just struggling to see where i've put them they are in this house somewhere the reason being i've got the glow sticks is um jake really wants to watch suicide squad so that's what we're going to watch together and i'm planning on doing that at night so i'm going to make all of the house dark and then i'm going to cover the table and the cups and like the popcorn you know boxes with glow sticks and just like make it all kind of glow up just to kind of make our film night a bit more special because I feel like I've got that for me and Jess and I'm going to buy all of the you know, pink and red sweets so I thought you know what I have to do the same for mine and Jake's film night so I had that idea but yeah let's just do like a glow stick kind of movie night in the dark and I think that'd be quite cool so I also got these as well bags of pick a mix so they're all kind of like random ones in there so I have got them one each and I think those were a pound as well I've got these pink love heart sweets, which are also in the Valentine's section. I think these were 99p as well. Not sure how many you get, but I've just got these to go in a little pot on the table. I'm going to come a bit closer because I feel like you guys can't really see what I'm showing you. These I got as well, which I'm dying to show you guys, because these are only 50p a bottle, which I think is really, really good. So it's the Fabulosa brand and it's a zesty lemon scent. And these are bathroom sprays but I thought you know what 50p each you would be absolutely mad not to buy these and just stick them away under your sink in the cleaning cupboard so yeah I grabbed two of those and I think next time I go back I might even get some more at that price because I thought that was so so cheap I've got this really pretty table cover I have got one of these before which I did use for 
I think Boxing Day when my family come over, but I love it so much that I've been waiting for them to get it back in and they've got them back in. So I have picked myself up another one of those 99p each and it's a nice kind of green leafy eucalyptus pattern on the bottom. And I just thought that'd be so lovely to have around the house for, you know, whenever I have a little get together or something like that, I can stick it away. I got these as well. So these are food bag clips. I'm always nicking my dad's. Every time I go to my mum and dad's house, I'm always nicking my dad's. So I thought, you know what, Jen? Just get your own. Just get your own. I think these were 99p for a pack of 18. So they're going to come in very handy for crisps and freezer bags and stuff like that. I also got these as well, which I'm not sure if these are new in because I haven't seen these before, guys. So it's Rock Face, which I've never heard of. I have to say, I've never heard of the brand, but they are sport deodorant sprays only 99p each which i thought was really really cheap and i think they look kind of expensive i have to say so i've got the boys one each so jake can just you know take his to school or use it for the gym and then again simon could just use his for whatever so i've got one of those each i also got some bits for my first aid box because i just am running a little bit low and i love to have things there just in case i need it so I got a box of plasters. These were under a quid. I think these were like 50, 50 or P, something like that. And then I've got these little packs of bandages as well, which I believe are about 29p each. So yeah, I do love to kind of just keep that always topped up. I also got some of these snacks for Jake because he's trying to eat a lot more protein and stuff like that at the moment. So I've got these for him. These are like the little fitness stuff. So these are sweet chili flavour pop chips and they've got like protein in them, 10 grams of protein. So yeah, I thought I would get in these to try. I think they were under a quid. And then I've got in these um, rice cake snack ones as well, which are sort of vinegar flavour. I think these were like 29p a bag, these. So yeah, I've got those. Uh, I also got some... Nest Quick cereal bars for the kids to try. 99p and you get six in there, which I thought was really, really good. Six bars for a pound. Um, I've got quite a lot of food bits in here actually, which I don't normally buy, do I? I normally buy like homeware stuff. It's very unusual that I will have sweets. So yeah, it's not a very exciting haul today, guys, is it? Okay, Oreo biscuits. Now, you get six of these for a pound, which I thought was really, really good and ideal for packed lunch boxes. So there's three Oreo biscuits in each packet. And like I say, you get six of those for a quid. However, I only have four because Jessica saw them and then she's took two packets to school already. But aren't they good? Great little lunch bag fillers. They are. Bisto, I need another tub of Bisto. We go through Bisto, I'm not joking you, in this house, like you go through milk and bread. It is unbelievable. And this was around, I think, £2.50, £2.60 for this big tub, which is quite good because if you go in Tesco or Sainsbury's, they're doing the little tubs for like, oh my God, honestly, like £3.54, quid. it's just so expensive. I also got this as well. I've never tried this before. I've had the Biscoff biscuits, which I absolutely love they are so so yummy so i saw the spread and i thought oh do you know what i'll give that a little try i think it was around two quid pancake day is coming up i'll give this a little try and see how that tastes so that's why i've got one of those i also got these for the kids for easter i know easter is quite a while away yet but i thought oh do you know what these were so cute i'll grab them i've said it before my kids favorite chocolate is kinder they love King of chocolate so this little bunny here this one is for jake because if you look at the top of his ears he has got headphones on which i thought was quite good and then this one is for jessica and she's got a pretty little bandana on the top of her head 99p each for those so they're going to go in their easter baskets and then i have again guys been collecting some more of the American sweets. So I initially done a, the American sweet basket for my nephew and then Jake saw it and was like, oh, I really, really want one. So I'm planning on doing one for him as well. I'm not going to shout too much because obviously he has only done the corridor. So yeah, I'm going to do one for him as well and get it done for his birthday. So every time I'm in home bargains and I see any kind of 
American sweets, I'm just going to be picking those up. These are the Michael like sweets, which are quite hard to come by, I have to say. So I'm shocked that Home Bargains even have these in. So I grabbed those. I also got two packs of the Sour Patch Kids as well. This is the Kona flavour. And then this is the Fruity flavour bag. I think these were like a pound each as well, which is quite cheap. I also got two of the Millions as well, which is the Bubblegum flavour. I think these were like 29p as well. Really, really cheap in there. I got these Mawam blocks as well. Again, really, really cheap. So they're going to go in there as well. I've got some blackjack, like chew it kind of things. And this sherbet thing. Oh, I used to love these as a child. I used to love going to the shop and getting these as a child. I just love the taste of the licorice stick. Bottle of iron brew. These are only like 29p in Home Bargains, which is just really, really cheap. So I just grabbed one of these to pop in the car for an emergency drink. Also got this tartar sauce as well um simon had fish and chips the other day and there just wasn't any of this in the cupboard so i just picked one of these up to just stick away in the cupboard i think that was like 99p as well oh i got these as well to go in the american sweet basket one of the reese's overloaded peanut bars and i think these are like 50 60p something like that really really cheap anyway and then i got these i've got some more tupperware <laughs> boxes you probably think oh my god where does she keep all of these tupperware boxes she's always buying so many but i love them they're so handy for so many different things honestly they really really are so you get five of these which i think were one pound fifty i'm sure they're one pound fifty so the reason i got these ones is i'm planning on starting to do some meal preps during the week just for the kids like snacks really so i'm just gonna on a sunday night chop up some strawberries or apples bananas grapes whatever and then just pop them in the pots pop the lids on and then stick them in the fridge also like vegetable prep as well on a sunday evening chopping carrots onions i don't know peppers and then just pop them all in here with the lids on it's all in the fridge and then when you want them in the evening you haven't got to worry about you know faffing around chopping vegetables or fruit and it's always done in the fridge so that's why i got those i also picked up Two more COVID tests. I always pick up COVID tests. I know a lot of people nowadays just don't really seem to test anymore for COVID, but I'm still kind of, I'm one of them people where I've test myself regularly, especially if I get a cold, it's the first thing I do. I will grab one of these and test myself for the next couple of days, just to make sure I don't want to, you know, obviously catch COVID, not know I've got it and, you know, spread it to everybody else. I just don't like to do things like that. And then obviously because of Simon's, um, immune system is quite low it's still quite bad i just have to be very very careful around him with certain viruses and things so i always pick these up when i'm in home bargains they are the cheapest in there at one pound 19 for a box and i think I'm, you only get one yeah you only get one test in there but like i say one pound 19 is really really cheap so every time i'm in there i will grab a couple of these and just stick them in the medicine cupboard they're there they're handy to have if you need them I also got this Happy Father's Day bunting, which I'm going to be using for Father's Day just to put around the house. I think that was under a pound, guys. And then lastly, I got these two Easter bags for the kids just to pop their goodies in, really, for Easter. But I love the colour. Really, really lovely, pretty lemon colour. It says Happy Easter. It's not too girly and it's not too, you know, boisterous either. It's just kind of... A nice medium so yeah i've got two of those and they are 69p each so i am going to start very soon actually filling up their easter bags because i think easter is early this year isn't it guys is it early i've got a feeling it is early this year i know mother's day is march again and i've got a funny feeling that easter might be the very end of march as well so yeah it's going to come around very very soon so i am going to start filling their easter bags soon which i will sh show you guys let's have a look at the tv which I will show you guys, like I always do, I'll show you what I'll be putting in the kids' Easter bags. And then obviously showing you guys how I decorate the new flat as well. For Easter, I've never decorated in here before, so I'm very, very excited to get that done. Yeah, that is it, guys. That's everything I've got from Home Bargains today. It wasn't the most exciting haul, I know. It was mainly kind of food and just 
odds and sorts really is but I hope you have enjoyed the video anyway I hope you've loved me chatting to you guys today if you are new here and you have loved today's video feel free to hit subscribe I would love to have you guys here with me and also feel free to go back and look at some of my older videos it might help you guys as well to kind of get to know me a little bit more which would be lovely I would love to have you guys sticking around with me I also do want to say a massive thank you I have had a really big subscription following for the last two weeks so thank you guys so so much to every single one of you who has joined me in the last couple of weeks i'm very very grateful and yeah i will see you guys in the next video take care i love you all and i will see you very very soon bye guys